Hello everyone, this is Jacob Crow with NJ Tech Reviews. We are here on Tuesday, April 15th with the brand new Samsung Galaxy S5. This is officially launched on April 11th, last Friday. Have it here in the office for AT&T. We want to thank our friends over at AT&T for sending this to us. But this is the new flagship device from uh, Samsung. And it will be going, of course, head-to-head -head with the HTC One. And this is replacing the Galaxy S4. Um, for the most part. The Samsung Galaxy S5 and AT&T retails for one day on with a two-year contract. Of course, that can be paired with AT&T Next and I believe the 8th, 12th, or 18th month variety as well. And you can buy it off contract. The box goes with that kind of fake wood pattern, but as you can see, we do have a giant just five right in the middle, kind of a outlining it right there. It kind of shows this is the next evolution in the series. Uh, in terms of branding on the box, we happen to have an AT&T logo at the top. Very hard to see. This kind of pushes out a little bit. But on the back, we get to see um, some of the other specs of the device. You can see the AT&T logo. We'll be testing out the 16 gig variant in shimmery white. Uh, but in terms of the big features on here, it's 4G LD capable. We have that uh, full HD uh, 1080p display. Super AMOLED, 5.1 inches, so slightly bigger versus the S4. That new dimple back, 2.5 gigahertz quad-core processor. It can record in UHD quality, which will be an interesting thing to test out in the video. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and take this guy out of the box, which is why everyone is here. So as you can see, same thing again, nothing on the back. That natural wood, and voila, there we have it, the Samsung Galaxy S5 in shimmery white for AT&T. We got it in that nice little phone tray, of course. So if we go ahead and pop that out, pop that off to the side. That's it, this going ahead into a boot. So we can see Samsung Galaxy S5 Power by Andrew. Put that right off to the side just for a second and see what else comes in the box. We have a quick start guide for the Galaxy S5 on AT&T. Still got that AT&T bootloader on there. In the box as well, we have a smart switch, uh, health and safety warranties, uh, what appear to be some headphones similar to the ones you usually get with Samsung, and some extra ear pods, earbuds. We have our classic white Samsung uh, power adapter with the USB port, and we also have a micro USB cable in the box as well. Actually, no, not micro USB, it is a USB 3.0, so that new one. Right over there with USB on the end. Very similar to the one on the Galaxy Note 3. So let's go ahead and just do a quick overview of the device. On the back you can see that 16 megapixel back camera with the LED flash and the built-in heart rate monitor. An AT&T logo, Galaxy S5 logo, and a speaker grill. Now the S5 is partially waterproof or water resistant and we'll dive more into that in the floor view, but if we go ahead and take the back off you can see we do have that kind of insulation thing there, so when you put it back on, you want to be very careful with it and make sure yeah, you don't do anything. Uh, make sure you don't want water getting in there. It's a 3.85 lithium ion volt battery in here. A um, little bit of a different design, more longer and taller rather than wider. We have our front facing camera, of course. Um, we have that new, uh, haven't set that up on here just yet because we just got it in stock. Um, the uh, home button as well as a multitasking in back. If you go right there, you swipe up, you can go right into the camera app, and you can see our uh, beautiful display here. S Health is preloaded. Um, it's very bright, very vibrant. Um, viewing angles appear to be pretty good on here. And of course, you can see My Magazine as well on here, which is their kind of flipboard. Uh, of course, we have our full review coming on the S5 in the coming week, probably. Of course, you can stay tuned for our camera test and probably a comparison between this and the HTC One M8, as well as the S4. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for the full review of the AT&T Samsung Galaxy S5 on NJ Tech Reviews.